Welcome back. Last time I went over the router and what it does. This time I'm going to show you guys the upgrades you can apply to it. First one we're going to talk about is the speed boost. And here is how to make it. Take your dark iron, some sugar, and a cake. You get a speed boost upgrade. And all you do to apply these upgrades is walk up to your router, hold shift, and right click. That will place it in the router. The speed boost upgrade, uh, what it does is it completely reduces um, the time in between visiting machines. And uh, if you click this button right here, it will show you your upgrades that you have in the machine. Next one we're going to do is the bandwidth upgrade. This is the one that allows you allows the router to use uh, process one stack at a time instead of one item at a time. And so dark iron, blaze powder, and an egg. Same thing. And uh, it will show the bandwidth upgrade. Move stacks at a time. Next is the machine filter. Now you'll see that I say uh, have a little note here about requires a programmer. And um, this logic matrix identifier is part of the recipe to the machine filter and the item filter. And why that's special is because this logic matrix identifier requires a very special item, the logic matrix programmer. This programmer can only be found in dungeon chests. It cannot be crafted into the game currently, um, but that may change. The good thing is they're pretty common though, so if you get some of these logic matrix programmers, you can make the machine filter. And how you do that is you take some dark iron, some silver, the redstone, and this matrix identifier requires an inverium drop. You'll take this inverium drop, you will place it in a crystallizer. This is from factorization. Um, you'll place the inverium drop in this slot, some smooth stone, and a water bottle. And it takes 20 minutes, which is quite a while, to create this logic matrix. You'll then take the logic matrix and place it like so in the crafting table with the logic matrix, the spider eye, and the programmer from the dungeon chest. And you'll get a matrix identifier. So that requires an identifier, the uh, machine filter. What it does is uh, it allows you to specify what machines to work with. Um, and it will just go through you know, all the different machines. The next one is the item filter. And this is the one that allows you to specify exactly what item you want to be inserted or extracted. Again, uses the logic matrix identifier, some gold, and a chest. And here's your item filter. Place items in and out. Last but not least is the ejector. And um, it doesn't require anything special. Piston, some cobblestone, pressure plate, oak wood, along with the dark iron. And uh, take that, place it in. What this allows you to do is specify um, when extracting. When this is set to extract mode, um, you can set it to eject. Um, you know, the cardinal directions. Um, you can set it to eject into uh, to the bottom, to the top. And this is good for... Um, if you want to extract everything out of your band of machines and you want to put it into a chest or something like that. So there you go. Those are the upgrades. Um, thank you for your time. Be sure to leave your comments and posts. Um, I plan to bring you guys a quick and comprehensive overview of the uh, factorization mod. I'm going to do tutorials on all of the items if I can. And so I appreciate you guys' time. You can leave me some suggestions if you'd rather me do something first. And uh, see you later.